So my daughter sat me down and said, Dad, I've been wanting to tell you this for three months, um, and I, I, I have to talk to you. I said, what? You know, I, I was a little bit like, oh, my God. She goes, y your social media accounts aren't taking off the way they should. You know, you've been doing this, this addiction thing with the Freedom Model for 34 years, and you should be everywhere. And I hear that all the time. And I said, well, I, you know, I do my best. On, I, she goes, Dad, they don't know you. You know, you, you can talk about the freedom model till the cows come home, but if people don't connect with you, you, you have this amazing story and you don't ever tell it. And I said, well, I do on the podcast. She goes, yeah, I'm pieces, but they need to, I'm going to help you. She said to me, I'm going to help you so that people can see what I see as your daughter. So they know you. And then I'm going to help you rebrand and figure out how to reach more people. Uh, and she knows how to do that. I don't know how to do that. She goes, but first you have to tell your story. You have to tell people who who you are as a coach and as a person. So here goes. I'm just going to lay it all out on lunch. She goes, and be honest. You know, be open and honest. People deserve to hear what you have to say because you've done some pretty amazing things in your life. I said, all right. So the long and short of it is I grew up in a completely chaotic family. It was a very unhealthy place um, with a lot of bad things happening, and I eventually had a drug and alcohol problem, and I grew up in an AA household that was a part of our life, and rehabs were a part of my siblings' lives and mine, um, and going through the treatment and recovery community was just a part of our lives. So by the time I was 20 years old, I was completely immersed in both having a substance use problem and also a, a tremendous amount of trauma, suicide attempts, arrests, uh, all that stuff. And then eventually get stuffed in a rehab for 18 months, and I hated it. And that became the motivation for me to create the first non-12-step program and create the term non-12-step. I'm the guy that created that term, the alternative to treatment and recovery. Um, but more than that, why did I do it? That's the question, right? Why did I do this whole project, and why have I stuck it out for 34 years? Because I love people. So if you really want to know who I am, you have to know that I genuinely do not want people to go through what I went through. And that is rehab, treatments, therapies, and everything telling me that I was this broken person that needed recovery and therapy and medications the rest of my life. And I just didn't want to, I wasn't willing to live that lifestyle. I would rather have died. And I had a suicide attempt when at, at the peak of all this therapy. And so I do what I do because I love people. It's that simple. I'm absolutely sure I could go be an executive at some other company and make a hell of a lot more money with a lot less effort uh, than, than what I'm doing. But I love what I do. I love people.